Hi, thanks for coming to listen to this story with me, The Little Red Fort by Brenda Mayer and Sonia Sanchez. It's a really good story. It's one of my favorites. We're going to be working on the sound with this book, and then we're also going to be working on the word I. So whenever we hear that word, I'm going to point it out over here on my core board, okay? Ruby's mind was always full of ideas. That was our sound. Full. One day, she found some old boards. Who wants to help me build something? She asked her brothers. Oscar Lee pretended not to hear her. Rodrigo gave her a look that could melt popsicles. And Jose almost fell off the fence. You don't know how to build anything, they said. Ruby shrugged. Then I'll learn. I'll learn. And she did. Who wants to help me draw the plans, Ruby asked. The boys clutched their sides and howled with laughter. <laughs> Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, Ruby said. I'll draw them myself. And she did. Satisfied with her plans, Ruby asked, Who wants to help gather the supplies? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll gather them myself. And she did. When all the supplies were gathered, Ruby asked, who wants to help cut the boards? And that sounds great to me. Not me, said Oscar Lee. Oh, I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll cut them myself. And she did. When all the boards were neatly cut, Ruby sang, Who wants to help me hammer the nails? Oh, not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, she said. I will hammer them myself. And she did. She got some help from Grandma, and it looks like that might be her mom or maybe her aunt. Soon, Ruby's creation was complete. Who wants to play with me in my fort, she said. Oh, me, me, said Oscar Lee. Let's go, said Rodrigo. I'll play, said Jose. I'm not busy anymore. Hmm. Oh, not so fast, said Ruby. You didn't help me draw the plans or gather the supplies, or cut the boards, or hammer the nails. You said I didn't know how to build. And you laughed at me. I'm going to play in the fort by myself. I think that's fair. And she did. What a great fort. Look at all those tools that she still has with her. She's ready. She's ready to take care of stuff. Oh, well, we don't want to play anyway said the boys, but they really did. So they huddled, whispered, and got straight to work. Oscar Lee made a mailbox. Rodrigo planted some flowers. And Jose planted, painted the fort fire engine red. Ruby was delighted. That means happy. That evening, the boys followed a delicious it's just aroma to a fort warming party. That means they smelled something good, and when they went in that direction, they found there was a party in the fort, and Ruby asked, who wants to help me clean this plate? And you see her plate is filled with cookies or brownies. Who wants to help me clean this plate? We do, the boys said. 
and they did. Eating all of those cookies. So this page shows different ways maybe you could make a fort. There's forts where you can use your sofa cushions to stack up together and you could sit inside them. Sometimes you might make a kitchen chair, put your kitchen chairs together and put a blanket over it. Um, a bunk bed fort, if you have bunk beds, you can hang a blanket and then it's like a little room inside or a snow fort, which we don't get to do very much down here in Austin, Texas. My favorite when I was growing up was to make a table fort. So you get under your dining room table or your kitchen table and you get your mom and dad to help you put a blanket that goes over every side of the table and then when you go in there you can use a flashlight to look at stuff. It's, it's so much fun. All right, and here's another picture of them playing together, using a basket to bring some toys up into the fort. That looks like such a fun time. It's one of my favorite stories. I love forts. I love to get under things and be in a little room. It's very fun. So y'all enjoy the rest of your day and come back and listen to this story again if you want. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.